The Asian hornet is a new pest for, for uh, our bees in, in Europe. Vespa veratina is Chinese. Uh, it's got into Europe, into France, in fact, around 2004. It came from Shanghai, and we know exactly uh, where it came from because of DNA uh, profiling. Um, some queens were imported in, into Bordeaux in pottery with some uh, horticultural products. Uh, obviously they were fecund and they've reproduced um, and they've gone on to build nests and to um, devastate beekeeping throughout France. Devastate beekeeping because these hornets feed uh, not exclusively but pretty much only on bees. They, uh, they prey on the adults and they will take the grubs at the end as well. The, um, the behaviour of these hornets is such that you'll see them around July, a couple hovering outside the nest and they're hovering so that they're facing away from the, from the, uh, from the hive, like helicopters, waiting for for workers to return with their pollen loads or whatever that they, they're carrying. And as they're coming back, the hornets will pin them down, strip their wings off, uh, and then take them back and feed the adult bees to the hornet grubs. And that continues throughout the season. By August, there are more and more hornets hovering outside the colony. and. Uh, it gets really intolerable for, for the bees because they're taking all the all the, uh, the worker bees as they're coming through to the extent that uh, the bees no longer want to go out uh, they stay in the colony for as long as they can they have some source of uh, uh, honey to, to feed off and they come out um, sometimes in the evening when the, the hornets have, have gone because when, they, when it's cool the hornets will go um, the bees can, can then fly, get water uh, and um, do their cleansing flights. But they're not collecting a lot of honey. So um, around September, they're pretty weak, the hornets find a queue and all of a sudden you'll see it that the bees won't be coming out. The hornets will sense that the, uh, the bees are in trouble. They turn around and they go into the hive, they invade, they kill all the bees uh, and then they live in the hive. They, they uh, take the stores, they take the, the honey, the pollen, the grubs, anything that's, that's there and they, they can live in the hive. So the beekeeper comes back and he's not keeping bees anymore, he's keeping hornets. So big problem. Um, there are about up to about 30,000 hornets in a nest. Uh, it's a big, big nest. About, it could be the size of a beach ball. You know, it's quite, quite a sizable. Uh, and you'd think that that would be an easy thing to spot, but they build their nests very high up in trees, um, which are very leafy, uh, and it's it's difficult to track a nest unless you're in the path of, of a hornet. So, so then you can you can see them. So it's been difficult in France um, for um, destruction of these nests and it's been up to firefighters in fact who have the, the large ladders and equipment to cut them down but uh, it's been such a dangerous job that um, that's now stopped and it's it's up to professional pest control companies and specialists to to do something with control of hornets. What we've done is to um, make a trap based on a, an invention from Professor Ifantidis in Greece. It's called the Apeberg trap. 